if we are going to solve the climate change in accordance to the Paris Agreement, we need to get carbon capture and storage up and running fast. There are both technical and commercial hurdles to overcome. However, Valborg Lindegård, newly appointed CEO of Aker Carbon Capture, explains why we will solve them and why now. Valborg Lindegård, welcome to ONS Digital and congratulations on your new role. Thank you very much. We've all been through rough waters of the last six months, but you and Aker, you used the opportunity to restructure your business. Uh, explain to us a little bit about the process and, and what you want to achieve of it. It's been a very hectic month, but also very exciting. And I think what we see now uh, with a spin-off of two uh, listed companies, Arker Offshore Wind and Arker Carbon Capture, how we can take advantage of the competence uh, that's in the oil and gas industry, uh, really to lower carbon emissions for a greener future. Now you're leading Arker Carbon Capture. And you said you're going to build this on the shoulder of the oil and gas industry, but why carbon capture and, and why now? We have developed proprietary uh, carbon capture technology over 20 years. And uh, this is now the basis for uh, listing the company. Uh, we see that the market potential is huge, both if you look into the Paris Agreement targets, in order to meet them, you really have to reduce carbon emissions. And uh, there is an estimate from IEA that 9% has to come from carbon capture, utilization and storage. 9% uh, may not seem that much, but it uh, accounts for 50 times all Norwegian CO2 emissions in 2040. So the market potential is huge. And uh, even more important, we've had a number of requests from customers over the last uh, year uh, looking for our technology. So the market is there and we have the technology. And also uh, we see now that there, it's time for commercialization. And uh, we have uh, two very exciting projects in the pipeline where we have a frame agreement. Uh, it's both are pending uh, governmental funding. It's for uh, Norsem carbon capture in Norway, a cement plant. And then we have a waste to energy plant in the Netherlands for Twents. I hear you saying that the market is starting to develop. And I'm glad to hear that because we've been discussing for a long time when we will see this development. But looking at Akar, what do you think you can contribute into this play and what will be the core qualities that you will bring into it? Well, as I said, we have proprietary technology and uh, the key differentiator uh, for us uh, compared to our competitors is uh, that we have really uh, focused on HEC characteristics and our um, total uh, carbon cap process is unique in that respect. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to heat integration and so on, uh, we see that we have patented solutions that put us in a unique position. Uh, we are a small company, but we have the bigger Arca Solutions, uh, you know, uh, sister company uh, supporting us. We will set up a number of frame agreements with them so we can also ensure uh, good uh, product execution. You mentioned that you already have two frame contracts working with CCS, but if you look ahead, what do you see on the short term, medium term and long term? Where did you see the greatest market potential? It's very interesting because we have a wide range of customers. It uh, includes, you know, uh, industry players uh, like cement and steel producers, but also in the energy uh, sector with uh, waste to energy, biofuels and fossil fuel. And uh, this differentiate, of course, from the oil and gas industry. The two projects are mentioned, uh, you know, like Nosem, it's a cement uh, producer, and Twens, a waste to energy producer, are very good examples of the market that we will prioritize. But also, there are certainly customers within the traditional oil and gas segment now, often, uh, you know, um, using the term energy. Uh, uh, players uh, will look into solutions for carbon capture. Building on what you're saying, how do you think that the oil and gas industry can coexist with CCS? Are there any challenges that you would see? From uh, you know the bigger Arco Solutions perspective, spinning up this uh, company uh, allows us uh, to focus on this market, on technology development in this segment, and you know, investing in future technology uh, investment. 
And that gives also growth opportunities for Arca Solutions because they are our preferred uh, supplier. Uh, when it uh, comes to the bigger carbon capture utilization story value chain, of course, we focus on carbon capture itself and that technology. However, there is a, a, also a value chain, including um, transportation, uh, storage, and finally permanent storage. And uh, these storage projects, uh, to a certain extent, you know, uh, includes um, uh, key oil and gas operators today. It could be, uh, you know, new uh, reservoirs, but also using depleted reservoir for CO2 storage. Let's look at the international markets. Now we talked a little bit on Norway. We talked about steel industry and cement industry. But how do you view the CCS developments abroad? I would say uh, that we have a number of customers that we are now interacting with, uh, in particular in Europe, but also in US. And uh, we see that really all customers are, uh, you know, in various segments are looking for solutions these days. Uh, some is uh, related uh, to energy efficiency, some are replacing uh, renewables with fossil fuels, but some also looking for carbon capture solutions to lower their carbon emissions. I mentioned uh, storage, and in Norway we have the Northern Lights project, uh, which is very, very important, also uh, a premise uh, for, uh, for funding of the NUSEM uh, project for us. But we see similar projects um, all over Europe, uh, many in the UK, uh, recently, uh, a project in Denmark, Green Sam, has been launched using a depleted reservoir. And we also see a uh, you know, storage project in Italy. So many people were concerned that um, CO2 storage could be a, a bottleneck to this industry. But it will not, from what we see uh, of the development in the market recently. I'm glad to hear that you're also optimistic on kind of what's happening in international markets. But I also see you mentioning Norway and Norwegian suppliers being in the forefront of having the opportunity to deliver the technology that is needed to put, get this up to full speed. Uh, when do you think we will see CSS happening in a large scale? Uh, first, to the, your comment regarding Norway, because Norway has really been in the forefront for many, many years. And it started uh, back with the Sleipner uh, uh, field development in 1996, uh, you know, the world's first uh, offshore storage uh, for CO2. And we gained a lot of experience uh, through that project. And Arco also delivered the plat Sleipner platform. Uh, since then, there has been a number of R&D projects and testing and uh, we have gained experience with our mobile test unit, but also through Technology Center Mongstar. But now uh, we are at the breakthrough. Commercialization is now. And uh, with uh, the Nulsem contract and uh, Twens contract in the Netherlands, both you know, pending governmental funding, but we certainly believe that there is a you know, strong political will also uh, to fund these projects and that we will see commercialization now uh, by year end and that we can start up these large, uh, large projects beginning next year. I hear your optimism and I'm glad to hear that because many of us have asked ourselves the question of when CCS will happen. I'm also very glad to hear that you see optimism and that in the financial markets and the political willingness to make it happen. Uh, as my last question, do you have a wish list on what we as industry and policymakers need to do in order to really fuel the CCS going forward? I think it's a balance. Uh, from our side, we will have to continue to uh, reduce the development cost. We already have identified um, several uh, products from our side. We have uh, the big uh, catch, which we call the large uh, plants like for Nusem. We have the just catch, more modular. Uh, container-based solution for, uh, for uh, medium-sized capacity. And we're also looking into offshore uh, solutions with Just Catch Offshore. Uh, so we will continue the journey uh, to reduce our, our development costs. And as an example, uh, compared to um, the technology center Mungstad, we have reduced uh, the cost for such a development with 90% already. And we certainly believe there is more to come when it comes to reducing the cost. But on the other side, uh, you know, there, uh, there is a balance uh, with the price of CO2. It's uh, regarding uh, various taxes. And we see that uh, this is uh, a national, but also a regional and even down to each city may have specific goals of reaching uh, carbon neutral um, uh, 
goals. So uh, it will vary a lot and we will have to work with governments and cities and uh, various customers as well. So there will be very many stakeholders. I hear you think that the world is ready for carbon capture and you as our carbon capture are ready to capture the opportunities that lies within it. Valborg, thank you for joining us and I wish you all the best of luck in your new role. Thank you. Thank you so much.